Hey there, Aries. How's it going? It's your friend Dharma here to do another tarot scope for you. This is meant to be within roughly seven days from whenever you watch this. So it doesn't matter when it's uploaded. It matters when you click on it. So it is supposed to be for Aries and Aries cross watchers. Roughly seven days from whenever you watch this. So calling in guys, angels, anyone from the highest good for Aries for the roughly seven days ahead. What do we have for Aries, please? All right. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. We have us a spiritual calling in spiritual soulmate, calling in spiritual soulmate. Woo, because pentacles. These came out together. Yeah. So, okay. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. What do we have here? We have an old school relationship that I feel like there's a chance that it's like ending or near an end or well, I'm actually getting two scenarios. For some of you, we have the five and then the ten. And the balance of the relationship is, yes, it's totally secure, totally tangible, whatever. But at the same time, it's sharp. Like they might be an air sign. It's, it's, there's, there's impulse issues. It's not necessarily balanced. And so we're at a crossroads. For the other of you, this is, and I think this is more prominent, is that this week you meet your next soul contract person and it happens like, bam, like out of nowhere. And they bring you balance, except that there's something in the way that you're going to be then forced to um, basically you would have to leave something behind in order to bring it in. So either way, this card for both scenarios is, is saying that you have, something's going to have to be left behind either the, the soul contract itself, because it isn't working, or you're going to have to leave back behind another path so that you can call in this new 10 of pentacles soulmate. So who do we have from the fairies? What kind of people and or energies do we have coming out? Ooh, fairy guidance. So this has been, this is enough. This is this, right? This is divinely guided. This is, it's, I feel like there's been, this is what I'm saying. It's like that. They come out of nowhere. They come out of nowhere. And it is a spiritual connection. Wow. So I feel like the universe has been dropping hints left and right to try to get somebody's attention to see this other counterpart. And both people are like looking away until finally they're like, you know what? All right, snap. And they make it happen. This is a, like the fairy's tower moment because this is something that was supposed to have been. This card has been out for everybody. That's Taeyeon the poet. For one person, they've been watching for a long time. Like they know who this is. But it's like it's now available, or the opportunity is like because it feels like a very like right now. It has to be right now, or because they'll leave, I'll lose them. They're not like a permanent. Enter this week for cancer. Ah, yes, the Oak Man. This is, it's the strength card, but it's also this and this. <coughs> and honestly, this. This is ancient knowledge. This is the Akashic Records, thing that's already been written in stone. 
or weaved into the root well because it's a very earthy thing that's already been arranged, if you will. And it's just now, that's what this is. Bam. Oh. The person that I've been watching is actually my cat. I've been saying that all night. So I don't know what it is if, if the if the Libra the Libra full moons force us to get rid of other partners so these counterparts can come in, but I feel like really divine ships are starting to get in order to create these little swirls of energy of couples that do really us together. Like they change the world. Like their love and this is across the board, this every sign. They're all falling into these love pockets with the right one that's been like spiritually guided. And the love that they emit from themselves when they're around each other contagious and it changes the world. It's insane to think a relationship of your own have that kind of impact, but when everybody's happy and everybody's with the partner that they were meant for, could you imagine? And for Aries this week. Oh, yes, you see what I'm saying? That's why I, it happens like that. Because while I think the masculine knows that they're into this person, the feminine isn't quite aware. <laughs> I think she has her eyes closed. Mostly. But this is Rainbow. And she's the one who is in charge of telling Hugo. Excuse me. <coughs> Oh, super hay fever. In spring, upstate New York. I, you, I love it when it's inside. I get to sit in jammies all day and drink hot and watch the snow from inside my house. And I don't get allergies. Come out. Cupid, right? Cupid's arrow, right there. Bada bing. And she's just been waiting and waiting and waiting, kind of like filing her nails. Like, I already have had the thought. I know who who is supposed to surprise me at all. But then it's like like an arrow. When it, it hits you, you're like, what? Something jumped up in me. <laughs> Forrest Gump. Oh, right in the box. But you get unlimited ice cream. <clears throat> so there's about divine time week that it finally just bam happens. Well, like I said, one person are but the other person I think they can't believe it. Or they're just shocked that this person came out of nowhere. Seems like. Could came out of nowhere but has always been around. If that makes any sense that's even possible. So, I want to know what the shock is. I want to know why Iris of the Rainbow finally decided to shoot the leaf. I want to know... I want to know what we're going to get taken this week. Because so far, all we know for the week is that out of nowhere, your soulmate shows up. A soulmate shows up. But I want to know how, and I want to know who it is, see what I can find from that. So if you want to know, follow me over to Vimeo. The link for that is in the box below, the extended version. Um, and if this is where we part ways, congratulations for this week and finding your person. If this resonates for you, liking, subscribing, and sharing. And until next time, Eric, have a good one.